Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are doing another part of Fay Farm. It's part number four. And in the last part, we did get a chicken, a chiku, and um, they are over here. So that's exciting. We have to wave to it and I'm not really sure how to do the emotes. Uh, let me just see, where's the emotes? Oh, emotes, there we go. Okay, so it's the left arrow. <laughs> oh, wave, yay. Okay, can we pet? And then how do we get them to have fresh air? Let's see, let me go outside and maybe wave, maybe they'll come out. All right, you guys, so I actually see that there's an egg here in the hay, so I'm gonna pick that up. There's two of them. Okay, I don't really know how to get them to go outside the coop. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that, but uh, hopefully by the end of this part, we can get them to go outside the coop so he can get some fresh air. Uh, let's see, what? Oh, why follow me? Got you, oh, okay. Nice. So they can follow me around. Get fresh air. Fresh air. How do we stop following me? <laughs> Maybe they'll just stay out here and get some fresh air. Okay. All right. So let's go meet. Actually, let's go to our map and see if we can go do anything else. So go to Plains of Plenty. I want to go back to Earlene because I want to tell them that we did, uh, you know, do the wave e emote. So let's go and do that. Okay, so we're here at Arlene, so let's go talk to her. Good to see you. It's time to cast a line for white perch, river cod, and salmon. Let me guess, you waved until your arms gave out. Sounds like you're a natural. Just don't overdo it, or folks might think you are being swarmed by angry bees. <laughs> nice, okay. Let's go meet Cleo so that we can get the key to the saltwater mines. Okay, you guys, so we're here at Cleo. Let's talk. Well, hi. With those thorns cleared, I can start doing more exploring. Aha, so finally I get to meet the new adventurer of Azoria. Don't be modest, Lucy Games. I know you've got passion for exploring the unknown. You braved an ocean journey, for goodness sakes. That's not nothing. <laughs> I'm Cleo, Azoria's premier adventurer. You were the talk of the town at the Cozy Critter Inn last night. What can I do for you? Eddie sent you to get the key to saltwater mines? Oh, wow. I don't know if I can trust you with the key. Sorry, not that I can't trust you to use it. We locked the mines for a reason, and I can't let anyone in there. It's full of jumbles. It's true that you've been doing a bang-up job getting rid of the thorns. Hmm, tell you what, if you can show me that you're capable of taking care of yourself down there, I'll give you the key. The best way to show me your preparedness is to buy yourself a healing potion and cook some food to keep your energy up. Okay, so I gotta buy and collect some, or prepare and collect some food and then purchase a poster. Purchase a poster, purchase a potion from Vera. Oh my gosh, there's so much reading in this game. I'm sorry, guys. All right, let's go. I get all tongue-tied sometimes. Okay, so purchase a potion from Vera. And then, oh, can I like sell something? Oh, I can sell my eggs? Well, I kind of want to make, if I can make food with it, I'd rather keep it. Okay, you guys, so we made it to Vera's place. Let's go see if we can buy some stuff from her. Uh -huh. Greetings. Oops. <laughs> Hello. Good for you for coming to Azoria. It must have been quite the journey. I love watching blossoming trees in the spring. Oh. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a few new faces in Azoria. Okay, so I wonder... Let's investigate. Okay, and then... I wonder, oh, small potion of healing, small potion of mana, okay. I don't know, I'm gonna get six, just in case. Okay, and then 
prepare and collect some food. Okay, well, we will do that after. I do have to go see um, a villager named Aspen. And then there's another villager, Frida, that I need to see. So I will do both of those. Ah, there you are. I saw the paths are clear again. Thanks for that. Oh, yeah, you're the new farmer. Nice to make your acquaintance, Lucy Games. I'm Aspen. And you could say that I'm the best woodworker in town. At least I do. Ha. Huh. So I hear you've got a farmhouse. Not bad, not bad, but could be better. From what I understand, it's cozy count. Could use work. Coziness is important, you know. Oh, you don't know? Well, take it from me, coziness is key. Because when you sleep in a house decked out and cozy furniture, you'll wake up feeling fresh and energized the next day. And just how do you get cozy furniture? You build it. Want to give it a shot? Reach a cozy count of at least five and start the day. Rewards. Okay. I knew you would just build more cozy furniture in your house. The morning after you build it, you should notice that your home's cozy count has gone up. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll do that. I'm not going to probably be able to do that now um, because it is getting nighttime. But I'm going to go meet Frida. Well, hi there. Nothing will be given to you in this life except for your magical staff and some farm tools. But everything else you'll need to earn. Lucy Games, you look chipper. Tell me about your new friend. Ugh, I love to hear it. Oh, they sound lovely. Anything else? I'm so happy for you. I have a feeling you'll build lots of friendships. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go head back and go to sleep and then I'm gonna collect, uh, I'll do the food tomorrow um, and then hopefully we can start navigating through the mines. Okay, you guys, so it's a new day. Let's go out and get our mail. Um, and then I do have to go, wait, there's no mail. Okay, I thought there was mail. Okay, so I do have to go and um, get some food and prepare some food. Uh, so I will do that. Um, I think we do have some broiled, oops, we do have some broiled fish in our inventory. I'm gonna see what I can make with the eggs. I don't know if I can make anything. Let me just see. What is, ooh, let's do two. Ooh. Okay, that sounds good. So then we will have five prepared meals and then we can go into the mines, but I wanna go check on my chicken first, my chiku, <laughs> because I just feel like I just wanna check on them daily and just make sure they're all well and good and they're, you know, perfect. So we're gonna do that. Let me go to, oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go into your coop and just see what you've been up to. See if you've laid any more eggs. I will give them some more food. They have laid eggs, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna give them some more food as well. So that way there they can eat once we're gone into the mines. Um, I love having a pet. It's so much fun. They're so cute. I love them so much. Oh. I love them. <laughs> okay, so, oh wait, we prepared the meals. Prepare meal, prepare and collect some food for the mines. I did though. Okay, so I am an idiot and <laughs> I forgot to collect my food from the, um, from the cookout thing. So I have the food now. So I'm gonna go return to Cleo for the rewards. Hey there, what would I have been if not an explorer? Probably an adventurer. It's time for preparation inspection. Let's see potions, food. Yep, you're all equipped. I think you can handle it from here. This is the key to the saltwater mines is yours now. Before you go running off though, I've got another thing or two to teach you about the exploring the dangerous dungeons. So a dungeon is what we adventurers call any large and potentially risky place you might want to adventure through. You can leave a dungeon anytime you like, but when you return, you'll have to work your way through all the leave levels you've already explored, unless you make some dungeon seals as you go. It, I'll teach you how if you've got a minute. You're not busy with anything, right? So a dungeon seal is a bit of a mechanical magic that 
lets you revisit a specific floor of a dungeon directly without having to explore the floors above first. A little magic, a little crafting, and you have yourself a bona fide shortcut. All you need to do, all you need is the copper to make one and guess where that is in the dungeon. Keep in mind that you have to place the dungeon seals in order. Place one on the first level down, then the second and so on. So why don't you try making your dungeon seal? You'll craft that in a seal crafting station. If you don't have one, if you don't already have one, you can probably construct one pretty easily. Pick up copper ore, craft and place seal crafting station, craft a copper seal. Okay. Um, let me see what I need for copper stuff. Well, do I have to go, I have to go in the dungeon for that, right? Um, stone and copper ore. Beach log. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Stone and copper ore. I need 20 stone. So let me... Let me get some stone. So I have it. Oh, I need to get out of the build. Oops, I need to get out of the build catalog. Okay, so I had to redo the day um, just because I was up late trying to get stone and stuff so they could craft the thing. Dear Lucy Games, you already know how to take care of thorns. Just whack them with your staff. Presto smacko, they'll disappear. But you know a staff's for more than just taking out magical obstacles. You can use it to defeat jumbles too. Jumbles are leftover things that nobody wants, brought to life by magic. They get bored and angry and sometimes they even attack people. But if you can't defeat them in magical combat, combat they'll return to the other. Well, if you feel ready for some of that, just keep exploring deeper in the mines. Though, if I were you, I might go see Drac the Battlemaster first. He could show you how to really wallop those jumbles. Okay, maybe we'll go see him. Um, I do... Yeah, so maybe we'll go see him. But let me go check on our... I love checking on our chicken. Our chiku. I know he's outside, but I'm going to look inside and see what's going on. Uh, first, so we do have an egg to collect, and then I'm going to put in some fibers, and then um, I'm going to leave just so that he has food, uh, so that way there he can eat. So let's, where is he again? Oh no, 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 I lost him. Where is the Chiku? He was out here. Chiku. Oh, there he is. Petting him. He's getting some fresh air. Okay, so greetings and hello. I'm impressed with how you handled those jumbles, Camp, but I didn't even go in there. <laughs> hey there, Champ. The name's Drac, but you can call me Drac. Whoa, is, is that an actual magical staff? Careful waving that thing around. I know you're trying, but can, can tell you don't have any training. Good news for you, I'm a great teacher and I'm available. It's all about stance and balance. Feel the weight in your hands, it keeps loose. Swing with your whole body, not just your arms. That should cover the basics. Why don't you test yourself against some jumbles? Whacking 10 jumbles should be a good test for you. Come back to me when you're done, champ. Okay, okay so I guess we do have to go into the mines. Um, in order to get, oh, he's, they're flying, oh my gosh. <laughs> they're flying. They scare you, little buddy. And he's coming to say hi. <laughs> okay, what is this? Phil. Oh, wait. Oh, so you run out of water, water in your watering can. I love that. That's so awesome. Can I water these? I watered them um, because I noticed that they were still seeds, uh, so I did water them. Uh, so that's fine. Okay. 
All right, you guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here. Um, I think in the next part, I'll start out with the mines just so that we can get through some of it uh, because I fear like if I go in there, I'm gonna get too involved in it and then I'm not gonna be able to kind of stop. So <laughs> we will go in the mines the next part. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna end it right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will talk to you all very soon.